Today's video is about different types of drinking water bottle. If you've watched many of the videos, you'll know that we prefer the classic type um, plastic water bottles. And after trying some different types and talking to lots of people, I am actually going to stick with the same type of bottle. Now, the first thing I want to say about plastic bottles um, is to get one that is quite firm, it's rigid plastic, so I can barely move that there. The type that often comes free with the um, cages is this type, which is a very flimsy plastic, can leak very easily, uh, probably not very good for your rats at all. So although they are considered safe plastic because they're Savic and Furplast, I, I wouldn't want to use those for my rats. I always swap those for one of this type. And they come in different sizes, as you know. Now, um, the, the thing about the plastic bottles is I mentioned on one of my other videos that you should really replace them every two months. And lots of people ask me questions about that. Now, the reason behind that is because most people don't clean their bottles properly and because it can lead to a buildup of bacteria, lime scale, and be very unhealthy for your rats. So I have a separate video on cleaning your bottles, how we keep our water bottles clean and prolong the life of them. And also a separate one on how to guarantee that your bottles are non-drip. So anyway, I just want to talk about these other bottles. So you probably all know, um, you know, about a little bit about the plastic bottles. They come with these little metal wires that you attach to the cage. Now this one, if I can get it to focus, you see that has lime scale on. This is an old one that came with um, some rescue rats and I kept it to show people. You don't want to be using one that's all dirty and horrible. And um, if this, this drinking nozzle is, is dirty like that, you can get bacteria building up. When you buy a new drinking water bottle, always fill the edge of the, the drinking spout. Make sure there's no rough edges. And if it has, then reject it because you don't want your rats to hurt their tongues, their mouths on it. So that's one I kept to show you that's got very nasty and horrible. Um, they come in different sizes. And this is one that we can use for attaching to our travel cage, which I'll, I'll show you in another video. You can actually get ones that have the little hanging loop here, which makes it easier to attach. But that's quite common for using, you know, with smaller animals. That's not really big enough to use with rats. You need a bigger bottle. And th this is the smallest size bottle that you really should have. We do have some smaller ones, but they're secondary bottles. They're not the main drinking water bottle. This is a rosewood bottle that's guaranteed as non-drip. But I'm not happy with this one. It did drip, which may have been my fault. I may not have filled it right to the top and created the correct vacuum inside. But I don't like this rubber seal. It, and it has a spring inside. The, the ball bearing is spring loaded rather than loose. And I'm concerned with this long nozzle that we won't be able to clean the bottle properly. And that only cost me £1.20. So I'm not worried that it's not going to get used. But that's another type of bottle that I think is not... Although it initially looks good, it's a rigid plastic, um, non-drip. I'm not so happy that that will be easy to keep clean. Now this, this bottle is the Sippy Fur, Fur Plus Sippy. Now I really like the idea of this. It can fasten inside the cage. It has um, some little sucker things here that you can put on if you have a tank, which as you know, tanks aren't any good for rats. There's not enough ventilation, but maybe if you had some other animals that are in tanks. But they don't look very strong to me. I, I don't think I would trust those as three of them. I don't think I'd trust them to hold a water bottle on. But you can attach them in the normal way outside your cage. Um, and there is this little screw bit that fits in there. Now, I really like the idea of this. It's not a spring and it's not a ball bearing. It's just this little piece of metal. And you can completely take this apart to clean it. And I thought, brilliant. But I have heard that some animals were having difficulty getting water out. Well, we didn't even get that far. I put it into the spare cage to try it. It was brilliant. No drips at all. I thought, fantastic. Then I took it out. And the very first time I put, took this out of the cage, it got wedged. And I see there, I've broken it and snapped the plastic. I'm not going to buy another one, but I do think they are pretty good. I mean, they're rigid plastic. They completely come apart from cleaning. Didn't drip at all. It's just whether your animal will drink from it. Um, and I'll say 
that didn't happen with us we didn't get that far because i broke it but and i don't think i'm that clumsy i'm clumsy with dropping bottles but not actually putting them in and out of the cage it just got stuck in the bars but that is a nice type of bottle and some people really like it some people hate it now i don't have a living world glass bottle I decided after talking to my friends who have them, although they sound good, um, they do break easily obviously because they're glass, um, they work on the double ball bearing which is supposed to help prevent the um, drips. But um, we did try the Trixie glass bottle which is the honey and hopper bottle and this has a very strange fixing, I think it's similar to the um, the living world it has this metal clip that goes around the bottle and attaches to the bars which i can't fiddle about with this it's fiddly for me um depending which way you you want the bottle picture out or in that will attach to your bars and then it's got this spring clip which goes around the top and also attaches to the bars but i found that was really really tight i couldn't even pull that apart and attach it to the bars um, I, I am concerned it's quite a heavy bottle. It doesn't seem to have the double ball bearing, but it does have this very long nozzle, which I think is going to make cleaning quite difficult. It also has a little plastic floater in there, which is supposed to show you, um, you know, where the actual level of the water. Um, I would probably take that floater out and get rid of it if I, I'm not sure if it even comes out. Let's have a look and see if we can remove the floater. Yes, I would dispose of that because I don't know if that's non-toxic plastic it should be but um you know i don't really know now the problem i had with this is when you screw up the the, the actual spout it sits at an angle so um trying to get that into the cage we thought that either the flat side goes against the cage or even the rounded side but the on the bottle i've got it sits at a funny angle so we didn't really get on with that and I don't think it was worth the money so if you're going for glass bottles I'd go for the living world personally we're going to stick with the classic water bottles and I've got a, a short video just showing you how we make our water bottles non-drip and I've got another bottle uh, short video sorry about how we keep our, our water bottles clean so I hope that's just given you a little bit of information. I'd be interested to know what type of bottle you use and um, how you've got on with it.